welcome to Differential Calculus. I'm your tutor, Ryan. And in today's lesson, we're going to be teaching you the limit laws. Videos 2 and up are going to be used specifically for the use of them and the application of them in actual real-life questions. In order to use the limit laws, we must first suppose the following things. That C is a constant, that the limit as x approaches A of f of x exists, as well as the limit as x approaches A of g of x exists. All right, let's move on. First off, the following five limit laws will be considered. One, the limit as x approaches a of the sum of f of x and g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x plus the limit as x approaches a of g of x. This can also be read as the limit of the sum of two functions is the sum of the limits of the functions. Two, the limit as x approaches a of the difference of f of x and g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x subtract the limit as x approaches a of g of x. This can also be read as the limit of the difference of two functions is equal to the difference of the limits of the two functions. Three, the limit as x approaches a of a constant times the function f of x is equal to the constant times the limit of the function. Four, the limit as x approaches a of the multiple of f of x and g of x is equal to the multiple of the limits of f of x and g of x. Five, the limit as x approaches a of f of x divided by g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x divided by the limit as x approaches a of g of x, provided that the limit as x approaches a of g of x cannot equal zero because Unfortunately, in the universe, we are not allowed to divide by zero. Okay, let's go on ahead and check out the next six limit laws. The six are listed here along with another assumption, and that's that n is a positive integer. Six, the limit as x approaches a of the function f of x raised to the nth power is equal to the whole of limit as x approaches a of f of x raised to the nth power. 7. The limit as x approaches a of a constant is equal to the constant itself. 8. The limit as x approaches a of x is equal to a, since x will become a. 9. The limit as x approaches a of x to the n is equal to a to the n. 10. The limit as x approaches a of the nth root of x is equal to the nth root of a. If n is an even number, we assume that a is greater than zero to avoid taking the root of a negative number. 11. The limit as x approaches a of the nth root of the function f of x is equal to the nth root of the limit as x approaches a of f of x. If n is even, we assume that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is greater than zero. In the next video, we will be showing the usage of these limit laws, so stay tuned for parts two and up of using the limit laws.